Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today uh, I am here at my DSL modem, but it's not actually a DSL modem. So, if you've seen my previous video where I talk about my uh, internet connection and telephone and everything, I said that this was my DSL modem, and then the other box over there on the other side of the house is the telephone lines, but I realize now that that is not true at all. It would send the DSL signal up this cable, and here it is. It comes out here and goes into here, where it processes it, and then it sends the internet data back through here, through the same wire where this blue cable was sent up. So, it's so this is my fiber modem, and we've got fiber optic cable coming through this conduit. And what these actually are is this is, so the fiber goes in, and then this is Ethernet to go into the router, and then this is telephone, because we get both telephone and internet through fiber. And so there the telephone line comes out, and then it splits it into these two, and you can see there's the tip and ring colored with a green and red. And so you got your Ethernet signal and your two telephone. So you might be wondering, well, how can you fit telephone when this ethernet cable is already used for ethernet? Well, unless you're using gigabit ethernet, regular ethernet only uses four of the eight connectors, or the four, four of the eight wires in the actual cable. And so that leaves you with four extra for other things which in this case it's being used for telephone and then of course once it gets inside it, it is the telephone is split off and the ethernet is wired up and, and goes into the router so let me quickly show you that so this is down in the basement office and this cable right here is where the ethernet and telephone come in so if I open this box right here, you can see here it is. Now, um, this is actually a telephone jack, and these wires here and here, they go upstairs, and they go to just telephone jacks that I recently installed. And then this um, is for internet, and it used to go into this guy, but we don't use it anymore. We got a new router upstairs, which that cable goes up to, and goes up to a jack that I, again, recently installed for the new router. So, you can see that this is where, or this, it comes in here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but the four ethernet signals go into here, which is the ethernet jack. And then those two telephone ones, the, um, blue and white blue go in here. Now you're probably wondering what's all this cable and all this about. Well, because even though I was wrong in the previous video in saying that this was a DSL connection and this cable is the main line coming in and all of that, this house used to have DSL and so this is wired up thinking you'd use DSL and it was just slightly modified once we switched to fiber, which I don't know when we did that. I think that actually happened before I moved in. That was like eight years ago, so I'm not quite sure. So, uh, this right now, it originally went out to the telephone box. And then, yes, there would have been a DSL modem in here and everything. But right now, this just goes out. And it's wired up so that it just goes to a different telephone jack in the house. So anyway, uh, my point being with this video is that you can watch that old video, but don't listen to anything I say in it because it's wrong information. Although it's still an interesting video, so um, you're fine to check it out. Just it's not correct. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. 
If you have any comments or questions about the show, or would like to suggest topics for future shows, drop me a line at romeocat128.wixsite.com forward slash home.